Hey guys, it's Love Saloon here. Today I'm going to show you how to create my facile bracelet. I wanted to go with a little bit of an easier design this week and a three bar wide. So that's what we're going to do today. Here is a couple different color options. I personally like when the border and the middle band matches. So that's what we're going to do today. So you'll need 126 bands total. The breakdown is 66 of the white, 12 of this caramel, 24 of the light blue, and 24 of the dark blue. You'll also need one C-clip and your hook. So go ahead and get those things ready and we can get started. To make this bracelet, you have to have at least one rainbow loom. To avoid an extension and to get a longer bracelet, I'm going to connect another loom in front. So I have a second loom connected where this long blue base is, but you can still make it if you only have one loom. You'll follow all my directions. You'll just need to add some chains at the end to get the bracelet to fit your wrist if you are only using the one loom. So the first thing we're going to do is choose the side border band that lays straight here. I'm going to be using this solar pink. And we're going to start by laying one in the very center for when we close it later. And then we'll go to the left and to the right. Keep that close by. But we are now going to choose our next color, which is going to be this caramel color here. I'm going to use this jelly blue. And we're just going to lay this horizontally going across like so. We're going to go back to our first color. And we're going to lay a straight band on each side, like that. And now the next band that we lay, I'm doing this style where this straight white band right here in the middle matches the border. That's what I'm going to do today. But if you want it to be a different color like this version where the black is, you're going to choose that color right now. I'm sticking to this version, so I'm going to grab my border color, which is pink. And I'm going to lay it horizontally across, just like we did with the blue. We'll go back to our straight borders and lay it on the side pins, like this. And now we have to lay a horizontal again, but it will be the first horizontal color that you laid. So I will lay blue. We'll go back to laying our two straight borders. And now I have to go back to my pink horizontal. So that's what we're going to do down the loom. So I'm laying my straight ones, laying my blue horizontal, straight ones, and pink horizontal. And we do go down to the end of the loom. Um, we will bring it in at the second to last pin, but I will show you that when we get down there. It's starting to feel like fall outside. It's the first morning I had to grab a sweatshirt to go outside to take my son to school. And it's my favorite time of the year. I love the fall. I love when you can wear like jeans and a hoodie. Um, or like a light sweater, you know, whoops. See what happens when I start talking. <laughs> a light, like hoodie, you know, something like that. But yeah, fall is my favorite time of year. Not too cold, not too hot. It's just right. I just don't feel like it lasts long enough. What's your favorite time of the year? I'm pretty sure I've asked you guys this before. Okay, you guys, so I'm hopping back on here to show you that once you get down to the end of the loom, I'm at the second to last bar pin. We do not lay a horizontal on the very last border that we lay. All we're going to do is just bring it into the center. 
So it should look like that. We have nothing laying straight across right there. So go ahead through and push all of those down and then we will lay the next layer. Alrighty, so the next set of bands that we're gonna lay are gonna be what the light blue ones are on this bracelet here. If you like this version where, see how that whole section is pink? You would grab the blue right now and it would end up coming out like this where those two colors match. But I personally like when that caramel and that blue is a different color. So that's what I'm doing today and I'm gonna grab teal. And we are gonna, from the second pin in the middle, we're gonna go diagonal left and diagonal right. We are gonna skip this next pin and come up to the next one after that and start our next one. We will lay a V shape. Again, skip this next one, come up to the one after that, and that's when the next one will start. So we're gonna lay these Vs on every other row. Alrighty, so this is what it should be looking like right now. We have our V's on every other row. So I did go ahead and push mine down real quick. It will help, so I do recommend you doing that. And now you're gonna choose where my dark blue is on this bracelet. I'm gonna use this bright orange. And this time we're gonna be laying a bunch of X's. So if you come up to the second pin on the left, we are gonna lay a long stretch diagonal band up to the right. It's going through that middle pin, and then we're gonna cross it in the opposite direction. So come up to the second pin on the right and do a long diagonal stretch to the left. So you can see it's going right through that center pin there. So we're just gonna literally come up to the next pin on the left where there is no orange, and that's where our next one will start. And then we will do a long diagonal stretch to the right and cross it back. Come up to the next pin that doesn't have that color you're using right now. And that's where our next one will start. We're going to do this all the way down the loom. And your last one should connect to the very end, just like mine. And that was the last set of bands that we need to lay. So go through and get those pushed down and then we can turn our loom around. So the very last thing that we'll need to do after we get our loom turned around is grab one more of our main border color. And we're gonna place a cat band on the very center, wrapped around two times like so. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna be doing is pulling down one of the horizontal bands and pulling it in front of one of the center pins. Um, so the way that you can make sure you're grabbing the correct one is, do you remember the Vs that we laid, which for me are my teal? They're not Vs now because we turned the loom around, but here are my diagonal teals. All of the horizontal bands that sit right behind it are the bands that we're gonna be pulling in front. So here is my V. I'm gonna go behind that pin and grab this horizontal right here. So for me, I'll be grabbing all blue bands. Make sure you have both of them and you're just gonna pull it towards yourself and pull it in front of the pin like so. We're gonna come find our next diagonal teal band, which for me is right here. You're gonna look behind there, grab that horizontal band, which is blue for me Pull it towards yourself and over that pin, and it will sit in front of it just like that. That's the last one I did. I'm gonna come up to the next one. Here is my Turk, my um, teal band. I'm gonna reach behind that, grab my horizontal, and pull it in front. So whatever color you use, just make sure you're grabbing all of them and pulling them in front of that center pin 
like so. Make sure you don't forget to grab the one up here at the very top. And then of course that will be the last one. And this is what it looks like. All right, so the next thing that we are gonna do is loop the diagonal teal bands, which are our V bands or upside down V bands. And this part can be a little bit tricky. There's a couple different ways that you can do it, whatever is most comfortable for you. But we're going to be looping the left diagonal band up here to the right, and this right one is gonna go up here to the left. They're gonna cross behind the pen. So the trickiest part is just getting the band off of the pen. And like I said, there's a couple ways you can do it. So we are gonna push this top horizontal blue, making sure you're only grabbing the diagonal left teal, take it off of the pen and then bring it behind it in order to connect it to the top right, like that. The second one is definitely usually the trickier one to grab but we're just gonna push back that horizontal blue. I bring my hook to the right over here in order to grab it. And then I bring it off the pin, wrap it behind and connect it to the left. So they're crossing right here behind it like that. Uh, there's more than one way to do it like I've already mentioned. So we're gonna come up to our next upside down V. Another way that you can do it is by reaching behind the pin like this and grabbing the left one, bringing it off of the pin. Remember to bring it behind it and then connect it to the right. See this little space right here next to the pin? It's a very little tiny, tiny opening. You can go into that space to grab the right one, take it off of the pin and then stretch it behind and connect it to the left. So we're gonna come up to the next one, do the same thing. I'm gonna go into the pin. You can kind of push your hook to the right a little bit too to grab a hold of the left one. Connect it to the top back right. Go back in and grab the right one. I'm pretty sure I have done something similar to this in different videos. So hopefully this isn't as hard as I feel like it is right now. But we need to do the same step to all of our upside down V bands. The second one is usually the harder one to grab. And that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna start looping from the cat band. We're gonna go into the cat band and loop the top band to the left and the bottom one to the right. And we're gonna now loop the orange. We're gonna be looping the orange back to themselves. So the left will come up to the top right and the bottom right will come up to the top left. But it does have to go over the center pin. I'll show you what I mean. So on the left pin, we're gonna move the top band out of the way, grab your second one, which is my orange, and you're gonna act like you're connecting it to the center like that, but don't let it go. Also stretch it up and connect it to the right. So it's technically wrapping around both of those pins. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the right side. Act like you're connecting it to the middle and then stretch it up and connect it to the top left. We're gonna back up and loop the border up. So we're gonna grab the bottom border band and loop it up and repeat on the opposite side. From there, we need to flip 
over the horizontal band that's in here, but we have to do it from inside this teal opening right here. So if you're looking at the pen on the right side, you're going to go right down into the opening of these two teal legs. You're going to grab a hold of that horizontal band that's sitting right in there. You're going to pull it over the pen and let it go. We're going to do the same on the left side. So here's the pen. You're going to move right next to the pen and make sure you're getting inside the teal opening. You're going to reach down in there and grab a hold of that horizontal border color. Pull it towards yourself over the pen and let it go. After you do that, we're going to go into the pen and loop up the borders. So you're just pushing back all of those layers in order to grab the bottom border and loop that straight up. So we're going to start that process again, starting with the orange. This time we, we're going to be grabbing the third band down, but it's still the same orange. And we're going to be looping it like we're looping it to the middle, but also stretch it up and connect it to the right. On the right side, you're going to grab your orange, act like you're connecting it to the middle, and also stretch it up and connect it to the left. So we're going to back up and we're going to loop up our border. So you're just grabbing the bottom band and looping it up. And this is where that little bit of a tricky step is where we have to flip over that pink horizontal band. But again, we have to do it from inside this little opening right there. So if you're looking at the pin, you can see the little legs here of the teal. Make sure you're in the center of those. Grab the horizontal pink, pull it towards yourself, and let it go. We're going to do the same on the left side, grabbing that horizontal pink and bringing it over the pin and letting it go. So we're going to go into those same pins and loop up the borders. And now we are ready to start that all over again, which is starting with the orange. So we're going to loop the orange back to itself. Act like you're going to connect it to the middle and also stretch it up to the corner. And then you're going to cross the other side doing the same thing. Don't forget to back up and loop your borders up. We're going to reach inside that little opening of the teal to grab the horizontal pink, bring it over the pin, let it go, come to the left side, reach into the leg of that teal, grabbing the pink, bring it over the pin, and let it go. So that's what it should look like. Then we'll go back to looping up our border. We're ready to start that again, so we're going to loop our orange. Back up and loop our border. And then we have to reach into the legs of the teal and flip over the horizontal pink. So that's what we're going to keep doing up the loom, so you can keep following along with me.
And when you get to the very top, you guys, just don't forget the very last thing that you're going to do after looping up the last straight border is you're literally just going to grab the bottom band and bring it into the center on both sides. It's the very last step. And then you're going to grab your C-clip and this loose band that we have down in here, bringing both ends together. And that's where we will attach our C-clip. Like so. So you can pull this one up off the loom. And then I'll come back and show you how to fix the bands. Okay, so when you take it off of the loom, some things may be like stretched out, pulled, not laying in very nicely. So I go through section by section, pull it up and down. But a lot of the times my blue bands, they will be pulling to one side too much. So you may have to go through and pull on one side a little bit until it's laying evenly. Sometimes it gets pulled way too much to one side just by the way that we pull it off of the loom. So that's the first thing that I do. Then I go through and I make sure that all of my straight border bands are laying flat and not twisted. This is twisted, so then I go in and I try to roll it in a direction to see if it fixes it. That time it did. If it didn't, then I would try to roll it in the opposite direction. You can also grab it and stretch it left to right. If you used border bands that are tighter than your centers, it can bunch up in the, in the middle a little bit. And by stretching it left to right, we'll fix that problem. But after you do that, you do want to kind of bounce it up and down again. Then you're just going to locate your cap band and attach your C-clip. Like so. And there you have my completed facile bracelet. So I hope this design was not too challenging. I thought it was a really easy design to get out there today. But once I started doing the tutorial, it felt like it was actually a little bit harder to show than what I thought it was going to be. So hopefully you guys did not find it hard. Let me know down below. Um, if you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make one. But that will be it for today, you guys. I thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.